Mr. P, I'm stuck on this fraction problem. Well, let's take a look at it, Amanda. Convert the mixed numeral to an improper fraction, 2 and 3 fourths. We call this a mixed numeral because it has a whole number part, the 2, and a fraction part, the 3 fourths. We want to convert this entire number to a single fraction. In order to do that, let's think a little bit about what the 4 in the fraction tells us. The 4 in the denominator tells us that a hole was cut into four equal pieces. Because the fraction came from a hole that was cut into four equal pieces, we want to cut all of the holes involved in this problem into four equal pieces. We're going to change this mixed numeral to an improper fraction three different ways. The first way involves using pizza pictures. Each pizza will represent one hole. And because our fraction came from a hole that was cut into four equal pieces, we want each one of our pizzas cut into four equal pieces. In fact, here's one pizza cut into one, two, three, four, four equal pieces. We're going to need several of these, so I've drawn a whole bunch of pizzas cut into four equal pieces. We want to shade here. I'm going to shade with my highlighter exactly how much pizza is represented by two and three fourths. The two in front, the whole number, tells me that I should shade two whole pizzas. So here's a whole pizza shaded, and here's another whole pizza shaded. The fractional part, three-fourths, tells me to shade three pieces of another pizza that was cut into four equal pieces. So I'm going to shade one, two pieces, three pieces, out of four in another whole pizza. So what I've shaded represents two whole pizzas and three-fourths of another pizza. To convert this to an improper fraction, we want to count the total number of pieces involved. That's one, two, three, four from one whole, five, six, seven, eight from another whole, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pieces were shaded. So I write eleven on top in the numerator of my fraction. Down below, I'm going to write four because each one of those pieces was a fourth of a whole pizza. So we have a total of 11 fourths pizzas. Now it's not always so easy to draw pizza pictures. Let's look at another way to make this conversion from a mixed numeral to an improper fraction. The second method I call counting fourths. We can take our mixed numeral, two and three fourths, and I can think of the whole number part and the fraction separately here. My two whole 
I'm going to think of as one hole plus one hole more. One plus one is the two hole. The three-fourths is the three-fourths that I can add on the end. Now each one of these holes I can think of as being a certain number of fourths here. Again, I want to cut all my holes into four equal pieces. The one hole here is like one whole pizza. We've cut it into one, two, three, four fourths. So I'll write four fourths. Plus another hole we can write as four fourths more. Plus we have our three fourths on the end. Altogether, we have 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 3 more is 11 fourths, just like we got with the pizza pictures. Now, if the numbers are large, neither one of these first two methods is very easy to work with. We need a shortcut method that can get us through more complicated problems. So in method three, we're going to talk about using a shortcut to convert two and three-fourths to an improper fraction. In the shortcut method, we take the denominator four times the whole number part two. Four times two is how we get started. Four times two is eight. We then add three more, the numerator of the fraction. Eight plus three is eleven. Eleven becomes the numerator of our answer. And down below, I'm going to write my denominator as four. The denominator stays the same because I'm still counting fourths how many quarters of pieces of pizza, you could say, we have total. So again, the shortcut method involves taking 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 3 on top to get 11, and we recopy exactly the same denominator, 4. 4 times 2 is 8. The 8 we can think of as the number of pieces we got from two whole pizzas, plus the three more, the pieces we took from a third pizza, gave us a total of 11 pieces. And again, remember the denominator stays the same because we're still counting, we're thinking of our wholes and the fraction as being cut into fourths. Thanks, Mr. P. I'll do some of these on my own. Great.